guys, it's Liz, and today I have September favorites. So, it's a little choky, don't you think? <gasps> Fuck. ADD moment. Anyways, um, today I have for you um, September favorites, and I know it's kind of awkward lighting, but let's just go with it, you know? So, September favorites. I thought I had a lot more favorites, but then I was looking around, and I'm like, wow, I don't really have anything. And I just took a shower, actually. My hair's kind of, like, bad. It's still getting dry. I mean, I didn't just take a shower. I took one, like, two hours ago. Or three. Like, three to two hours ago. But it's still, like, getting kind of dry. Um, let's just get started. I guess, so the first favorite I have to show you, I can't really pick up, but I'll zoom in. It's my, oh, sorry, Lou. My dog's right here. I just kind of hit her in the head. Okay, pineapple mango candle from Bath and Works. So I've been really liking that. I don't really smell the pineapple. I just really smell the mango. But I like to do it when I'm like doing homework. I just feel like doing a can putting on a candle. It like is relaxing. I really like it. My friend from Dior gave me this. Like, she's not my age. She's older. Um, it's the long way moisturizing concealer. She gave me this a couple years back. Like before I even started wearing makeup, she actually gave my family this. So, like, whoever wanted it could take it, and I took it because when I started makeup, because I took, like, everyone's makeup when I started doing makeup. No one used this. I was like, I'm going to use this. And honestly, guys, this has helped me so much because I have had really bad acne in the past weeks. Um, like, big acne. I don't like acne everywhere, just big acne. Like, there's a scar from it. Like, it was really big. You could see in my fall makeup, like, video. You guys can't really see it that much, but it got, like, really, really bad after that video, really. I just got on my hands, but um, this is in 520 if anyone's wondering. It's like probably my skin tone, maybe a little bit lighter. Um, but I really like this because it really like covers it really good, and I like how it's liquid too because it won't dry out my skin as much as solid would. So I've been liking this. Um, CVS auto absorbing wipes, and these come with 15 sheets, and the, they just said compared to Clean Clear. Honestly, I only got these because they were cheaper than Clean Clear, and I just like felt like getting the cheaper ones. But they look like this, and then pull them out. Ooh, I just ripped it a little. Pull it out, and it's like that. It, like, comes out. And I know in Clean and Clear, they also have, like, that. Like, there's, like, a sticky thing. I care more about my acne ever since, like, I got really, really bad. And, like, I've just been, like, using these after school because my face is, like, probably literally a puddle after school with my oil, um, and I've been liking to use this. I mean, I don't have that much on it right now because, um, I just don't. And this gets, like, your face really dry, and, yeah, it's pretty much, like, clean color ones. I use both of them, and the only difference, that one's cheap. Then I have my Hula Benefit Bronzer, and it just pretty much looks like this. Yes, I know it's not focused, but you just, just need to see the color, really. But it actually looks, like, darker. I don't know why, but, um, this is actually... I mean, it's a dark bronzer, but it's not as dark as it looks on camera. And it's also a matte bronzer, but I've been liking actually contouring my face. I never used to do this because I was like, this is a stupid stuff. Why do I care about my face looking scary or anything? I really don't still, um, fuzzy. I don't care about my face looking skinnier still, but I like how it, like, bronzes it up, I guess. Um, so I've been liking this. And then for my foundation, I've been, like, placing it, like, putting it on with my... Essence um, of Beauty foundation brush from CVS and it's really white. I don't clean my brushes really um, But it's really white and then I just been like putting this back my hand Like getting the product on and there's putting on my face and it I could blend in with like This brush because it's such a big foundation brush. I feel like it's easier I used to have a smaller one that was so hard to blend in but now since I have a bigger one It's like easier to blend in and then my foundation that I've been loving, I think I showed this last month, is my Makeup Forever um, Professionals HD foundation. It just looks like this. This is really sad. Like, I was opening it today to put on makeup. Look at what happened to the cap. It broke. It freaking broke. I don't even know how. I don't handle this with, the, like, crap. I don't throw it everywhere. I don't know how it broke. But, yeah, I'm in 118, if you guys are wondering. It's a little light for me, but then my powder evens it out because I wanted a little light because, um... For, like, the winter, I could use it, so it's, like, all good. Um, and last, like, not beauty, but face, face product, pretty much. I've been liking is my Clean and Clear, um, Advantage Popped Pimple Relief Drying Paste. And this is only 0.5 ounces, and this costs, like, around $8, I think, so it was really expensive for, like, 
0.5 ounces. You're not even getting a whole ounce in here. The one I had really bad acne, like right here, it was underneath skin acne. That's why it's like such a bad like thing. Don't pop those. Don't try to pop those. Really bad idea. So I like tried and stuff and it didn't work. So I put this on um, at night. Next day, completely flat. I'm not saying the scab wasn't there because I already started picking it before I put this on. So there was going to be a scab no matter what. But completely flat. There was like a huge bump and now it's then it was like completely flat. And I was like, thank the Lord Jesus. Thank you. But then people were asking the school, what's on your face? And I said I ran into a door and I got hit by a test ball. Because it kind of looked like a bruise. That's, like, people actually fell for that too. They left like, oh, wow. I was like, Ugh, are you serious? Like, how can you fall for that? I mean, seriously. Anyways, but, um, yeah, I've been liking this. And I've been using it every night. And it really, really works. And then the next thing I've been liking is my random section now. I've been liking this. This is not Chex Mix, the party mix from Spartan. Usually I don't like any like off-brand stuff, like Spartan's off-brand thing. And like Chex Mix would be like the brand, like that's what it actually is. So it's pretty much like a copy of Chex Mix. But this one, I don't know what's with it, but the seasoning of it is so freaking better than like Chex Mix. It has like more seasoning, it's not plain like Chex Mix. And then it pretty much, it tastes like all those, like, you know how those Chex Mix, they have, like, those squares and then the lines. It's, like, it's, like, plaid. I don't even know. It's this only square thing in there, I'm pretty sure. And then get those, like, the lighter ones, not the darker ones, but the lighter ones with, like, a little dark in them with tons of seasoning on them. Oh, those are the best ones out of the whole Chex Mix bag. This is pretty much what it tastes like, and I love it to death. I mean, I don't know if you guys are, like... No, I'm on Sam, but it's amazing. I've been liking my moccasins from Target, and I always get these pretty much every year. I've gotten them the past two years. And, like, I won't splurge on um, Ugg moccasins, because I really, I honestly think they're really ugly. I don't like how they're, like, so pointy. Plus, I tried them on before because I was going to buy them. I don't know why I was going to buy them. I think I thought they were cute back then. Anyways, I was going to buy them, but, like... My foot, I have a humongous arch in my foot. Like, I don't have flat feet. I don't have regular feet. I have humongous arch. Like, it's huge. And and in that shoe, I couldn't, I could fit my foot in it, but it was too compressed. Like, it hurt. Because, like, my top of my foot, let me show you. Like, the top of my foot right there was, like, too much on the top. If you guys know what I'm saying. I don't know. It was too furry, pretty much. So, I didn't go with those. But these, I really like them. They're warm. I also use them as slippers and... Yeah, they match with every outfit I have. So, they match with this one right now. I actually wore them one day to school with this outfit. But yeah, I really like these. Now, Pandora Station, because I do this every month pretty much. Nothing has changed, guys. It's still Mumford and Sons. I don't know what's up with the Mumford and Sons. They're like brainwashing me or something with their Pandora Station. But it is freaking amazing. Honestly, every, every time I listen to it, there's a new song. Like... It never has the same old song. There always is one new song. I'm not saying that you're like, you've been listening it for a month and then you, the next month it's going to be a whole different music. Not even like the like songs you were listening to. I'm not saying that at all. It's just always a new song and like you just never get tired of it. I feel like I'm saying like so much. I'm sorry. And then I've been also liking Imagine Dragons because um, my computer, I do have a computer now. And I do, like, I have, I didn't use, I used to not use iTunes, I just used, like, Pandora Station, but I thought I would use it just because I was bringing my computer, um, one day, and I knew they blocked Pandora Station, like, their Wi-Fi at my school, so I just downloaded some songs, and honestly, Imagine Dragons, and their new album, not one song I don't like, not one song, it's literally, like, amazing, it's weird. Um, and then... My favorite song probably on the album is Tiptoe, Working Man. Actually, I can't even pick one. This is hard. Cha Ching is a really good one. Bleeding Out is a good one. I like Cha Ching though. On Top of the World. <gasps> that one's so good. But the others are so good too. My hair is like weird back here. So I've been liking, um, where are they? The Nooks. I've been liking Nat. N oh, got my eye. Um. Nav, I think it's called. N-A-I-V-E. 
really bad raining. Um, and then Seaside. Seaside's so good. It's like a slow song, though. It's like this song. It's like a cue stick. Cue stick. To go to the seaside. I'm not trying to say that everybody wants to go. I fell in love with the seaside. And then Nooks, I feel like they have a really like creative voice because they are British, so like, and they bring out their accent and their like songs. Like most British people, like One Direction. Let's just bring that up. I know some people that hate them are probably like, oh my gosh, lies. Like, British band that I can think of right now, One Direction or The Wanted. They don't bring out like their accents. I feel like in their like songs, only sometimes. But the Nooks, they bring out their accents like a ton, and that's what makes them like so different and I love it. And I've been also liking Of Monsters and Men. I've been liking, I want to download their whole album but then I just downloaded a few. Um, Mont Mountain Sound, um, where's another one? Of course Little Talks is amazing and then King and Lionheart, this one's really good. And then Mumford and Sons, I'm so freaking happy they came out with a new album. I was like, oh, yes, dying. I did actually my marketing project on them and I actually, um, I like made a video and stuff. But anyways, um, so I like died when they I like found out they came out with a new album. Actually, I knew like before it was gonna come out, but still I died. Um, and it's amazing, pretty much. I love every song. I mean, some songs they could be faster, but still, every song is good. And it's called Babel, if you guys are wondering. So go check it out. It released the twenty fifth, so it's actually out. Um, so yeah, I guess. Um, my favorite song on there, by the way, is Holland Road. That's amazing, I think. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So I guess without further ado, that's my long uh, September favorites. I feel like that was a long video. I will talk to you guys later. If you have any beauty video requests, please in the comments below. And bye!